Hey, welcome to the Travis Fam Adventures, where we try to find an adventure every day. Today, we're going to be loading our kayak into our pickup truck. So hang out a minute and see how we do it. Wow, that was some work. Now, we usually don't load that fast, but today it was a snap. Let me back the camera up so we can get a better angle. Okay, as you can see, I've got three kayaks and one stand-up paddleboard loaded. And you may think, how are those going to stay in there? With just two straps, I can hold them securely to stay in at highway speeds. One comes around the end and goes through the loops, pushing them back into the truck that way. And one goes over the top, holding them down flat into the bed. My truck has D-ring mounting locations just inside the bed that are perfect for this. Now I tried ratchet straps and because the kayaks lean over and because they're close in on the side, I found out that ratchet straps having to clack, 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 clack are not really the greatest idea. So on the recommendation of another YouTuber, I discovered cam straps where you just pull on them and they tighten up and you push the button where it says press and they'll release. And like I was saying about the ratchet strap, you can't quite get your hands in around under here to move a ratchet strap. With these cam straps, you just pull up on your tail, tail end until it's snug. And the last step that I always do before we hit the road is I shake them around. You push them back in as far as I can and then yank on the straps one more time. Take your tail ends and bow them up. Put your thumb on one side, wrap over your thumb twice, and back through the hole where your thumb is. Make some good tight knot. Tuck that inside because the wind will blow it around and fray it or will scratch the paint on your vehicle. Well, there is one more thing you have to do before you hit the road with your kayaks in the bed of your truck. You have to jiggle them a little bit and say, that ain't going nowhere. It's like a law or something. But wait, but wait, but wait, there's more. You're asking me, I know. Isn't there some sort of law where boats and stuff can't overhang the end of your truck and out in traffic? I'm just the guy to ask. I live in Tennessee and under Tennessee code annotated 55-9-405, you only have to use a red flag or a red light at night if your stuff extends more than four feet from the body or the tailgate of the truck. So 
So if the tailgate was up, it would be from here. The tailgate is down. So the, the line would start here, four feet. I've only got probably maybe 18 or 20 inches with this stand-up paddle board sticking out. So I don't even have to run a red flag with these going down the highway. Well, you saw we got on the highway. We got off the highway. We crossed railroad tracks. We went through town. We got in traffic, stopping and going without any trouble or problems at all. I'm confident this could get us anywhere we want to go. We've also tried stacking them flat on top of each other. The, the stand up on the bottom and the kayaks on top of that. That works pretty well too. Well, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. We're the Travis Fam Adventures and we hope that you find an adventure every day. God bless.